Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okey, kita jumpa lagi. Uh, okay, this is part 2 of lesson 07 week 8 for the title uh, using subquery to solve queries. Okay, so let's move to the uh, slides number 17. Okay. We stop here eh, for from the previous uh, slide uh, from the previous parts. Okay, so now now let's continue with the uh, lessons 07 week eight part two. Eh, for lesson agenda for today is uh, multiple row sub queries and also null values in a sub sub queries. Okay, have only two sub queries here. Okay, so let's move to the next uh, slides. Okay, so for this one, eh, returns more than one row eh, for a multiple row subqueries. Okay, so it will returns more than one row and also use a multiple row comparison operator. So this is the operator. Alright, in, any, and all. Okay, this is the operator for multiple row comparison operator. Okay. So, number one, right? So, in is equal to any member in the list. Uh, right, equal to any member in the list. I think, I, I think you, you, you all still can remember eh, the, the, the in. Okay, let's say for example, 10, 20, 30. So, it includes eh, to any member in the, in the list. Okay, so number two, any okay, must be preceded by this one this operator okay precedes mean okay mesti didahului all right so for eh, before you are using the operator any operator you must precede the operator with this operator so means that okay so you must put something like this uh, is greater eh, greater any all right so must be Precede by this operator must be precede by this operator or any of this of operator. Operator a compare uh, compares a value to each value in the in a list or written by a query evaluates to false if the query returns no rows. Ah, okay, so if let's say there is no value, eh, it will return false here. Okay, number three is all. This is also must be preceded by this operator. Uh, okay, must be preceded by this operator. So, for example, greater and equals to all. Okay, must be preceded didahului eh, dengan this symbol. Eh, this uh, this operator. Okay, compares a value to every value in the list or return by a query evaluates to true if the returns if the query returns no no rows ah, okay so let's move to the next one all right so using the in operator in multiple row okay is quite simple in multiple row sub query okay so for this example all right uh, select last name salary department id from employees where salary in this value so all the salary that is in the the list of this value okay will produce as an out output eh? whatever that uh, value that matching all this value because we are using in okay will produce as an out output for the seller salary okay so uh, right so for this one uh, last name here salary eh, whatever salary that is meet this conditions eh, this condition or value we will produce here so if let's say we can see here 4400 4400 6000 6000 8300 8300 17000 17000 and so on okay if let's say here 7 7000 we have here 7000 okay this must be in this value eh? Alright, so 
the last one is the department ID uh, okay so it's quite simple here okay let's move to the next one okay we can use uh, the any operator in multiple row sub query uh, multiple row sub sub query but please make sure okay please be careful uh, follow uh, the rules before this okay so for this for this example the example display employees who are not IT programmer who are not IT programmer and whose salary is less than that of any IT programmer uh, okay so we need to solve uh, one by one eh? sub query by sub sub query okay number one we need to solve this uh, Okay, we need to solve this this statement okay display employees who are not IT programmer so this is the the statement okay we need to display all the employees that is not not is this one uh, this is not okay that is not IT programmer okay based on these examples okay so that's number one okay number two we need to solve whose salary is less than any IT programmer. Uh, okay. So, in this example, we need to use this operator. This operator is less. And we can use multiple row subqueries any eh, to support these uh, statements. But, please make sure. Okay. From the previous slide, if we want to use the words any, we must precede by okay this symbol any symbol okay so mesti didahului oleh symbol ni okay we cannot put something like this any greater this is wrong okay this is wrong okay we must precede the operator first then any all right so in this case okay they want to know whose salary is less than any IT programmer so we need to know who is the IT programmer so in this case we need to know the salary of the employees where the job IT is IT programmer right? all the IT programmer eh, that have the salary so let's say for example they will produce this value okay for all the IT programmer right and then this value will make a comparison because we use any here this is multiple row sub query then we can compare eh? multiple with multiple and eh? we can compare multiple with multiple okay so and at the end of the day right so the results of uh, the results of this statement number one must be less than this value and the job ID is not IT programmer. Uh, okay, so based on this statement, number one, the job ID is ST Club, ST Club, eh, PU Club, and so on. So this is the job ID that is not IT programmer. And number two, their salary, all the job ID in this uh, output, the salary must be less than less than what this salary uh, okay so if let's say we can see here okay all the salary here is less than this list of value okay 2001 2000 is there's no salary that is greater than this list of value uh, okay so this is the output eh, of this uh, operator in multiple rows sub sub query so we can use any eh, operator here right we can use any operator here in the multiple row sub sub queries okay so in this case less than any means less than the maximum greater than any means that uh, mean than uh, more than the max the minimum equal any is equivalent to in uh, if let's say you want to use this better use in eh? this is equivalent to to in okay all right so all right so this is the the result the output okay let's move to the next let's move to the next uh, slides okay 
uh, same goes here and we can use all operator okay all operator all operator in the multiple row sub query eh? in the multiple sub query okay so the the situations is going to be the same okay but the only difference is in this situation we use all so meaning that the salary here must be less eh, then it must be less from or all this value uh, must be less okay from this value okay so uh, the rest is going to be the same number one the job ID is not IT program okay then we use N here and we need to determine the salary from the employees where the job ID is IT program so they know that this is all the salary based on the IT program and for the comparison the salary must be less and equal less than all of this salary of the list of this list okay so same goes here okay so for the job ID here okay please make sure and the comparison is must must be difference from the IT programs and for the salary right for the salary okay there must be less than then this must be less than all this value so if let's say we compare here okay all this salary is less than all of this value so meaning that the minimum is 4200 so that's why we can see here okay the salary start from 4010 eh, and below okay 4100 4000 3000 because in this list this is the minimum number from all of the from all of the value here uh, okay so then after that they will make a comparison okay next uh, okay let's move to the next slides okay so the next agenda is and we can use null value in a sub sub query uh, okay let's move to the next slides <coughs> okay so for null value in the sub queries right so in this in this statement and the sql statement in the slides attempt to display all the employees who do not have any subordinate who do not have any subordinate and logically this sql statement should have written 12 row logically however the sql does not return any row because one of the value written by the inner query which one is inner query this one is a null value ah, okay so we understand that when we uh, find a null value okay as an output automatically it will produce zero row selected even though it's supposed to have 12 row here ah, okay so therefore therefore the entire query returns no no row here zero row selected ah, okay because of one of the output in the inner query produce a null value ah, okay so automatically they will not they will not find any any row equivalent to this uh, statement okay right so next the reason okay the reason is that all condition that compare a null value result is a null so whenever a null value are likely to be part of the result sets of a sub uh, query do not use the not in operator the not in operator is equivalent to not all uh, okay please make sure eh? not uh, please do not use this not in operator okay uh, so please uh, try to avoid eh, using not in uh, so if let's say you find a uh, null value it will produce zero output eh? zero row selected okay let's move to the next one okay so this is the example here eh? so we are supposed to uh, find here but in between this value we have a null value so automatically the results produce zero row 
selected. Uh, okay, so please be careful eh, when we want we, when we want to use uh, these kinds of uh, uh, query. We, please make sure eh, there is no null value eh, in the sub query. Okay, let's move to the next one. Ah, okay, so finish eh, for this one. Okay, so for this one in the lessons, eh, you should have learned how to identify when a sub query can help solve a problem and write the sub query when a query is based on, uh, based on unknown value. So what is unknown value? We need to determine the value first. Uh, okay. So this is what we call as a sub, uh, sub query. We need to identify the value, then the value will pass to the main query. Yeah, the value will pass to the main query. Okay. So with that, I think, uh, thank you very much. All right. So thank you for listening. Yes. Uh, this is lesson 07. Week 8, part 2. Okay, so hope to see you all again. Okay, uh, in lesson 08 and the next lessons. Alright, so with that, I think thank you very much. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kita jumpa lagi nanti. Okay, bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.